everybody welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here then just welcome please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video so let's go ahead and get right into it y'all I thought today that I would do a video on my mods again so here it is y'all the first thing we're going to talk about is the iPhone 13 Pro Max in gold that's what I have my sims use in the game and this is what it looks like and y'all know this is what the phone looks like that they give you in the base game without any kind of overrides anything it's really big it's really blocky and it's just not a good look in 2022 <laughs> like that's just not what we do in these days so this is the phone that I have my sims use and it just looks y'all it looks so good and this is the front of the phone it just looks like she I swear y'all it looks like she's holding an actual freaking phone it just looks so good like yes so that's this mod if you are tired of that blocky um throwback 1965 <laughs> go ahead and download this the links to all of these mods will be in the description box so just check out down there and get y'all some and the next mod we're going to be talking about is frank's language barriers in this mod you get seven different languages depending on where your sim lives the type of family that you've created um their home world their traits and all of that depending on what they have and who they are you get, they speak Simlish, Winnenbergish, Salvadoranian, um, Tokisulani, Kamarubigo, Tartosiano, and Siksami. So yeah, and they can also learn different languages. So your sim can walk around here speaking all seven languages if you take the time to get them to learn that. It's just real cool. It reminds me of actual everyday life because yeah you have your language that you speak or languages depending on where you've been and all of that and you can just pick up all these different languages and so that you can communicate with whoever you want to I think that's really cool and I I really do like that it's in game because it makes you make your sims have to you know learn something so that they can communicate with the person that they're trying to communicate with so this mod here if y'all want that in your game because sometimes it can make it make things a bit difficult but i like it so if y'all like it too the link will be down in the description box this sim speaks simlish natively and will never have issues speaking to other simlish natives so she'll understand whoever she's talking to as long as they're speaking simlish She'll understand them, they'll understand her if they can understand and speak Simlish, just like in everyday life. So, y'all, if y'all want this mod, it'll be down below in the description box. And the next mod I'm going to have her talk about is the Sul Sul Weather app. We have every world in here, and it'll tell you exactly what the weather's like. So right now in Oasis Springs, climate. Spring is mostly sunny and hot. Summer is sunny and hot with a high chance of heat waves. Fall is mostly sunny and hot. Winter is mostly cloudy and cool to warm. So you can go in here and check what the weather is going to be before you travel wherever you're going to travel. This is, y'all, it comes in handy a lot because a lot of times you travel somewhere and as soon as you get there it's storming say for instance one time I was playing one of my households and I wanted my sims to go swimming we got to the pool and it was it was raining so freaking hard I was y'all like this should come in game like it should really come in game because you can't how do you travel how do you plan things without knowing what the weather is going to be when you get where you're going. I just feel like it doesn't make sense. It's a lot of things that aren't in the game that does not make sense. But we have a mod 
and we're able to download it and we'll yeah it'll be down in the description box if y'all want this if y'all have had those freaking times where all of your plans were ruined because of the weather yeah look down in the description box and download it y'all because it will be there okay so now we're going to get into a deep indigos mod and the first one we're going to talk about is the eye care mod okay so she scheduled an appointment for an eye exam it says tiana's appointment has been scheduled scheduled appointments only last for three days after which a new appointment will need to be rescheduled so we're going to go back into the phone y'all she's trying to go up and dance i ain't got time like sims okay it says schedule routine eye exam or go to the optometrist i'm going to send her to the to the optometrist go to optometrist should tiana use sick leave to attend the optometrist appointment um no just go she does not have work until oh she got work in 30 minutes so it's time for her optometrist appointment um yeah go now Probably should have used sick leave, but what ifs? Like, why is she walking around angry, y'all? Girl, be inspired. She has made it back home, and she was charged $120. Let's see. Eyes examined. Eyes are the windows to the soul, and Tiana's glad she made time to visit the optometrist. And in the mod itself, it says your, your sim and their family are automatically opted into vision insurance if at least one young adult to elder sim in the home has a job. And insurance allows for a 40% discount on eye exams and surgery. Sims can schedule eye exams once every 21 days. But y'all, I swear it seemed like they be coming way sooner than that. But where it be telling them that it's time for eye exam like it seemed like it be happening like every other day but it says every 21 days appointments last three days before they need to be rescheduled and of course you guys know that a routine eye exam was 120 bucks because that's what Tiana was just charged eye conditions there are four eye conditions available not including conjunctivitis or pink eye those with poor eyesight can be nearsighted or farsighted. They will experience periods of dizziness, blurry vision, eye fatigue, and headaches. Sims have a chance of possibly being eligible for laser eye surgery when they age up to young adult or adults. Sims can develop more serious eye conditions like glaucoma and cataracts. They will have 14 days to schedule and have the surgery. Children and teens have a chance to develop conjunctivitis, which is usually viral and will simply need to run its course for about two to three days. Their hygiene and fun needs will decay faster during, during this time. So yeah, y'all, if you are interested in having your sim, you know, go to the eye doctor, take care of their eyes, and you know, have that realism in your game because y'all realism makes this game even better because without the mods like we ain't got much <laughs> so if you like this mod if you would like to send sim to the eye doctor and go through all of that with them then get this mod it will be down below in the description box the next mod we're going to talk about is the healthcare redux mod this mod, your sim can get new deadly diseases, new infectious viral and bacterial diseases, new chronic conditions, new allergies like bees, pet dander, general seasonal kind of allergies, new injuries, um, surgery required complications, pregnancy related health care. You get vitamins, treatments, medications and supplements are included how it works all diseases except stomach flu and appendicitis last for three days 
Appendicitis and stomach flu last for 24 hours. So kind of like a stomach bug. All chronic conditions are always chronic unless cheated away, i.e. the trait is removed. Minor injuries last for one day or less and more major injuries can last up to two days. Pregnancy complications last for six days and are only possible once your sim is in the second trimester. And of course you have diseases. Some are viral illnesses. For viral in illnesses, the most that can be done is home remedies. Bacterial illnesses. Bacterial il illnesses will need to be treated with antibiotics. A prescription is needed for antibiotics, which means the sim will need to go to the doctor to obtain one. Once one is obtained, they can fill their prescription at the online pharmacy for delivery via their inventory or mailbox. And inventory is preferred for tuberculosis antibiotics. And then you have the deadly diseases. Malaria, tuberculosis are both deadly, but they are both treatable and tuberculosis can be prevented by immunization. So you can get your sim immunized to keep them from ending up with tuberculosis. Well visits are an important part of a sim's health. They are currently needed every 14 days, 28 days if you play the long version. They can provide the opportunity to be immunized. They can also help uncover valuable information. And these right here are the packs that are used to make the mod or inside the mod but they're not necessarily needed and this is where you go to download the mod here next we're going to talk about a deep indigo's dental care mod while she's standing outside in the rain y'all like my poor girl <laughs> So we're going to book her a dental appointment. Tiana's appointment has been scheduled. Appointments hold last, appointment holds last for three days. If an appointment is no longer needed, it will be canceled. Tiana can attend the appointment when the office calls. Choose a time within three days to go to on the calendar or choose to go on her own time via the dental service menu. We're just gonna go through the dental service menu. So she's gonna get her phone. She has already booked, and now she's gonna go to the dental appointment. Okay, girl. And we're gonna say yes. See you later. Tiana's dentist compliments her on her beautiful smile, then offers to throw in a discounted teeth whitening session. Should she? Of course. And she is back. Brighter than bright from teeth whitening. Bam! Can you see Tiana's pearly whites? Yes, yes you can because they are gleaming bright white after her recent dentist visit. And in the dental care mod, it features dental insurance, teeth health, dental supplies, so you can get toothpaste, I believe there's flaws, um, mouthwash, tic tacs, everything that you could need to take care of your teeth. And you can also make a dental appointment using the um, appointment, the dental appointment event on the calendar. So you don't have to use the phone. My preferred way to do it is to use the phone. But you can also go on the calendar and do dental appointment event and schedule it that way. Toddlers will experience the pains of toddlerhood and can start teething. Toddlers can go to cleanings like other sims. Teething toddlers can alleviate the symptoms of teething by taking a teething tablet. They cannot do this on their own. They do need an adult to give them the teething tablet. You just click on your sim and they're able to administer a teething tablet to the toddler. So we're back in. We're going to see if Elijah can go to the dentist. So I'm gonna get her to schedule it for him.
and he's just upstairs dancing with dad And now he's on his way to the dentist. Elijah's dentist noticed his teeth seemed a little sensitive today. The dentist recommended a sensitive toothpaste and a good mouthwash to help him with that. Okay, we'll do. I'm sure it will be fine. But we're going to say, okay, we'll do. Elijah is back from the dentist. Nasher survival from recent dental cleaning. Even though he knows going to the dentist is important, the part Elijah likes best is when it's over. So he just did not have a good dentist appointment and he's pretty uncomfortable from going to the dentist. Aww. But he's done, y'all. He's good now. He's had his teeth cleaned and they are sitting nice. And this is where you'll go to download the extra things that you will need. It's on the Around the Sims 4. And it has the breath mist, the breath spray, the Tic Tacs, toothpaste at the top. Here's the sensitive toothpaste, the toothbrush. And also in the dental care mod, you will also need, I think you pronounce it lymphanose updated mood pack. You also need to download that. It's required for this mod to work properly and required for functional dental care items is Sandy's dental care objects. That's what I was just showing you guys and that's what you need to download too for the functional dental care items. And this is the mood pack that you need to download in order for you to be able to use the mod properly in order for it to work the way it's supposed to. You need this because it gives you the extra moods and things that your sims need. So you download this and this mod is required for all of these mods right here. You have to have this in order for all of these to work properly. If you do have these in your game and you're like why is my why are they not working the way they're supposed to maybe you're missing this or you know something like that so check that out download this if you do want the dental care mod the next mod we're going to talk about is the milestones mod and in here your sims your toddlers can teeth Toddlers will occasionally start teething. The experience is painful and depending on their traits, they will be either angry or sad. Teething toddlers in pain have a chance of running a fever, which will also make them angry or sad. Vampire toddlers have their own stronger moodlets when teething, so watch out. Children can join clicks by clicking on them and selecting the childhood clicks pie menu category. The clicks are artsies, athletes, fashionistas, goody goodies, um, troublemakers, and what is that? Weebles? Weebles? Y'all. Yeah. You can only join one click at a time, but you can cheat to join more than one by adding traits in testing cheats. Clicks have their own interests, talents, likes, dislikes, and ways of viewing members of other clicks. Insecure, too big, too small. Either way, these new developments are making Pearl feel very embarrassed. What is that from breast development? Oh, like what? <laughs> That's too funny. Y'all, she's just like, what is this? Um, what's happening to my body? No big deal from first period. Starting periods is no big deal for Bridget. She's like, whatever, my mom already talked to me about what I need to do when this time came, so I'm prepared, it's all good. Love. And your sims can go through menopause, y'all, like, 
yes new midlife crisis because say for instance your sim still has not found love they are looking for love because she does not have you know she, she ain't got long before she's gone <laughs> so she's out here like where's my boo thing like everybody else i see everybody else around here getting married and things where's mine Full midlife crisis lasts about five days, but fulfilling desires are just cheating away the buffs. Has a 55% chance of giving them a hidden survived midlife crisis trait, meaning they've accepted their fate of growing older. So yeah, y'all, if you want the Milestones mod, you can download this thing here. It will be down in the description box. And now we're going to talk about the preteen mod. In the preteen mod, I can click on her in here. She has the option to apply body spray. Body sprays help you smell great, giving you a fresh scent that lasts for a few hours. Just make sure you don't spray too much. You can apply deodorant. This deodorant helps to keep your underarms smelling fresh. And apply lotion. A daily moisturizer is necessary to maintain your skin's moisture barrier and to prevent environmental damage to your skin. So the way this mod works is whenever you have a child sim and you age them up into a teen, they are automatically given the preteen trait. But if you already have a teen that's already been made in the game, you have to make them a preteen. Simple hygiene is the body spray, the deodorant, and the lotion. I have aged him up and given him a slight makeover and everything. Now I'm going to show you you guys how to do the preteen mod, how to change him into a preteen. So you click on him and then you go here to preteen in the menu, settings, preteen base, and you will add the preteen trait. So we're going to do that and it says preteen years. Welcome Elijah Vaughn to being a preteen. For the next couple of years you're going to be experiencing some changes. Don't worry Elijah, it's completely natural. You'll be just fine. And we're going to click on OK and y'all, do y'all see how he's way smaller. He's much smaller than he was. So now he's a preteen and he's way shorter than he was because he was about the same height as his dad prior to being a preteen so now as a preteen the same things like his mom he can but this is for all sims all sims can do this so now in here if you go back into preteen base you can reset junior high you can shrink height reset homework reset height or remove the preteen trait so if you remove the preteen trait he's in teen years now it says teen years welcome Elijah Vaughn to being a teenager being a teenager isn't really that different and you probably feel exactly the same just a bit taller your voice might be a little deeper and you're going to start experiencing a lot more drama don't worry Elijah you'll make it and let's check his homework okay he does not have the homework he got the grade school homework still in here okay yeah so right here the junior high school and I think that's exactly what he needs so we're gonna click on that and now he's in he's a junior high C student but he does not have the homework book Homework not started. Junior high D student. Junior high C student. What? 12 hours? Okay. So why is he. Hello? I don't know why it says it twice, but it says it twice. He's a C and a D student. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, here we go. I just went to the bookcase and bought him a book and now he's able to do his homework. He's just using the regular old high school homework book. And the next mod I want to go over is 
Little Miss Sam's Allowance Mod for Children and Teens. Children and teens can now collect an allowance. To have them receive allowance, you can use the Ask for Allowance interaction on their parents. Then you'll decide whether it's time for them to receive an allowance or not. And they can receive pretty good amounts, y'all. High amounts. Children will receive 200, teens 375. Medium amounts is 144 for kids, 270 for teens. Tuesdays and Fridays. So all of them are on Tuesdays and Fridays. Low amount is 96 for kids, 180 for teens, which is still pretty good money if you ask me. And a cheap amount for kids is 24 and teens 45. And we'll just go right here in friendly and ask for allowance. So he has a moment or two. His mom has sat down next to him and he's been wondering like, Mom, I think it might be time for me to start working for an allowance. Elijah has been working around the house, doing the laundry, sweeping the floors, all to hint, hint, can I get a couple of dollars? So now he's asking her if he can start receiving an allowance. And she's like, she know he has been doing a lot around the house. He's not a bad kid. So she's going to allow him to have an allowance. And being as mama is loaded, because mama been working her buns off, she's going to give him a medium amount of money. Or should she give him a high amount? Let's give him a high amount. And Elijah will now receive an allowance every Tuesday and Friday until he ages to young adult. Allowance amount will depend on grades, traits, and more. Use the allowance account on his phone to check his total balance and or transfer funds from his allowance account to your household funds. To cancel his allowance, have one of his parents use the discontinue allowance interaction. Wheat simoleons. Receiving an allowance helps Sims learn the value of money. Always, It's always nice to have some spending money as well though. So he is excited about his money that he's going to have. And he's just waiting on his first, you know, allowance. It's Thursday. We're going to wait until Friday so that we can see whenever he gets his allowance. Little Miss Sam's power napping on sofas. This little tuning mod overrides the napping interaction on sofas. Napping time on sofas intense slash intense are 15 to 20 minutes. Napping time on sofas for toddlers is 15 to 30 minutes. So because little Laura is exhausted on this floor, so I'm gonna have her get into one of the chairs and see if she can take a power nap there instead. So she's just gonna walk through the chairs and she's gonna get up here because no one's paying her any attention and she's super freaking tired. Like, she just needs a few minutes of shut eye and she's gonna lay in this chair and take her quick little nap. Like, y'all look at the cuteness. Adorable. And look how fast it's just, it's going up. And it's gonna take about 15 to 30 minutes for her to get a decent amount of sleep where she's not so tired. Y'all, I love this mod. I use this thing in my 100 baby. And y'all know in a 100 baby, she be, they be going through some things. And they be needing that sleep because with all them babies, they just, they just don't get any sleep. So she's just going to lay here and get her sleep. And it says not enough nap time from interrupted nap. Who awoke the slumbering beast? Like, she's just not, she's sad. Because her traits, it gives her a sad moodlet when she's tired. So she's just napping, napping get out. And yeah, you just have to do it a few times and it goes all the way up. Before you know it, they're no longer super tired and they're great.
the next mile we're going to talk about is the prefer leftovers by little miss sam you see she's going into the fridge and she's grabbing some leftover salad that she made and instead of your sims coming into your kitchen cooking up your food because you know how sims will go into the kitchen and they already have leftovers in the fridge but they prefer to cook something fresh and spend up all the money and in some of my let's plays like my crybaby whims my sims ain't they ain't got no money they are literally living from check to check so if they were to be going into the kitchen to make a new meal every time they got hungry they would have no money so this mod makes them go to the fridge to get leftovers instead of going into the kitchen to make something fresh they just eat what they have first and I love that y'all I freaking love that And this is where you go to get that mod. You have to, the best way I figured is to go here and have the arrow pointing down. That way you get the mods faster than what you would normally. Because this mod would be closer to the bottom if you did it the other way. So do it where the arrow goes down and you'll just find it way quicker. It's number 25 that way. The next mod we're going to be talking about is the Sleep All Night Mod by Little Miss Sam's. This mod prevents the Sam from waking up just because their energy need is full. So y'all, let's go ahead and check it out and see how it works in game. Picking up, cleaning up. He's working for that allowance, y'all. No lie. He's working for that allowance. And now he's tired. So he's about to go downstairs and get in the bed. And with the Sleep All Night Mod, no matter if your sim say for instance I don't put his bladder down because y'all know once a sim has to go to the bathroom or whatever in the middle of the night if they're hungry or their energy's all the way up they wake up and then they're just walking around the house doing only God knows what like why are you even awake at 2 o'clock in the morning stay in the freaking bed so with this mod, they sleep all night long. You do not have to worry about them getting up for no freaking reason. Just because their energy meter is full. They stay in the bed. So that's what this mod does. And only if they are super freaking hungry or their bladder is very freaking low where they're about to pee on themselves, they get up. Oh, he okay. He's jumped up now. Y'all don't pay him no attention. He's got on makeup and tennis shoes in the bed. But he jumped up because he's got to go to the restroom now, and that's the only reason why. So once he gets done, he's gonna go back to bed. Oh, you didn't even flush or nothing. You're so nasty. Okay yuck but he's gonna go back to sleep and y'all see his meter is full he's just gonna stay in the bed all freaking night until he has to wake up in the morning to do whatever he needs to do or you have to wake them up and I love that because you don't have a whole bunch of sims walking around for no reason the next mod we're gonna talk about is the wake up overhaul mod it's a small mod that you don't necessarily need but don't you hate how they just wake up they jump up out the bed like they're happy all the freaking time and they throw the cover back fix the bed and they just go on about their business but this mod depending on how your sim feels is how they get up and I'm all for it because we ain't always happy to get up out the bed so sims with the following moves will wake up more unmotivated if they're sad happy bored embarrassed uncomfortable fine tense or dazed so they'll wake up kind of slow sluggish 
and they don't really want to get up out of the bed. Sims with other moods will wake up more motivated, like focused, energized, flirty, inspired, confident, and playful. Angry Sims will still wake up angry. The next mod I want to talk about is Sacrificial's Life's Drama Mod. This mod has a few key features, which are a new social popularity system, plastic surgery, dirty secrets, public scrapping, the burn book, the things that you just have to basically set it up on your sim in order for you to have all of these things happening around your sim. You can witness proposing couple situations, gang up situation, an evil gang who wants to ruin a poor sim's life. You can witness that. Um, the lost toddler situation where the toddler is lost and you have to inform the parent that you have found their toddler. So you just go in, you click on your sim, and you go to life's drama and enable dramatic situations around this sim. So now if you go back, these are all the situations that can happen around your sim. Okay, and this right here is how you use the mod. This right here tells you that it says, will this mod affect played sims and households that I created? No. This mod only affects generated NPC townies. So you don't have to worry about your sims catching on fire or nothing like that. It just affects the non-playables. Y'all, tell me how I did the lost toddler situation so I'm guessing she found a toddler y'all this don't even sound right she found a toddler she brought the toddler home why would she do that why would she do that but she brought the toddler home so now she's standing here calling her again to tell her the address to her house so that she can get her baby she's like girl come get your baby She's right here. She's crying. She's fine, but she's a little, um, you know, because she does not know where she is. But we live right around the corner from where you are. So, baby's walking to the door. She's about to leave, I'm guessing. And she's going to go to her mommy. Maybe they're going to meet each other halfway. Who knows? <laughs> but she going, y'all. <laughs> This is so freaking crazy. Who is this? Garden Link. I don't know. Let's follow the toddler. See where she goes. Because she walking, y'all. She going. Who is this dude? So creepy. Oh, she just disappeared into the middle of nowhere. Oh, there she is. And there's her mommy. I brought her outside because I wanted her to do the life's drama and where is it proposing couple situation I wanted her to witness that so let's see oh y'all okay so that's him this is his lady he's about to propose to she y'all why she got on these shorts with that shirt but okay so that's them and they're going to be doing that thing in a second <laughs> y'all here comes Tiana to be nosy she like you about to do what okay I want to see so he's going to propose to his oh she said yes oh wow and then they leave okay and she get right on her phone to start texting and telling people what she just seen like y'all I can't believe I just witnessed a whole proposal over here it was so cute the next mod we're gonna talk about is meaningful stories in meaningful stories your sims go through all kinds of emotions you know but in the game depending on what you have in your game your sims emotions can completely change 
like one second they can be tense and because they walk into a room all of a sudden they're happy or excited or something crazy like how were you like how did it change so fast and so drastically so with this mod your sims won't be able to go from crazy sadness to crazy happiness there's no way they got to go through like right here it says they cannot flip between intense sadness to intense happiness without passing through the emotions in between so they have to go through the emotions to get from point a to point b they got to go through everything that's in between there in order to see something in order for you to see something different with them which I love that because I can't stand it when my sims are happy one second and angry the next or angry one second and then happy the next it just don't make sense so that's what this mod does it just makes the whole emotion mood of your sims seem a bit more realistic our next mod is going to be Kawhi Stacy's Explore mod. So in order for you to use the Explore mod, you have to click on the sim, click on Explore and Services, and she's going to have to go try for a license. So she's about to go, like she looks so pretty. She's about to go try for a license and yeah, y'all, we'll see her when she comes back. Look at her on her phone. Okay, girl. And she is back. She did spend $75 to get her license. And we're going to click on her again. Go to explore. And now she's able to explore all of these things. She can explore with someone. She can shop. She can go to events, attractions, vacation spots, temporary work, services, takeout. Let's see what she can do. Let's go to services. She'll be gone for about three hours, one to three hours, I believe. Yeah, depending on wherever she wants, where she wants to go. So, but she has been wanting to get her feet done because they're a little busted and crusted. So she's going to go get her feet done. So she's telling her husband now that she's going to be gone and she'll be back again. Y'all, in a second, he's going to be like, dang. And she's back, y'all. She even went and got her makeup done. Love this color from Exploring. These are so pretty. I love them. Y'all, are those lashes? Or is that clashing with something she got on? Oh, it's the nail color that she got on her fingers. Okay. So, okay. So these, okay, <laughs> like I don't know what to say, but this polish is clashing with her lashes. So that's why she looked like that. Explored, Tiana went exploring. It's nice to get away once in a while. And that is the Explore mod by Kawhi Stacy. The last mod we're gonna be talking about is the no empty venues when arriving. This mod generates NPCs to arrive at whatever venue your sim is traveling to so that whenever your sim does get there they will not be alone which is cool because in game you could go to a venue and there's nobody there but your sim and maybe the bartender which is freaking crazy but yeah let's get into it so we're gonna have her go travel and see how many people shows up where she goes and she decided to come to planet honey pop and these are the sims that showed up when she got here It's six of them and they're all just gonna walk into the bar at the same time that's how it happens they walk in here at the same time it would be cool if they were already here sitting at the tables and stuff but y'all this is good this is better than nothing and she comes <laughs> hello she comes right over here and starts doing karaoke because she loves to sing so her voice sounds good though y'all oh yeah duh she is maxed out in all of her skills so her singing is a level 10 so she should be good 
So y'all, those are the mods I wanted to show you in this video. If you did like any of them, let me know which ones you will be downloading and down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a huge thumbs up, comment any suggestions you may have down below. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe. I would love, love, love to have you here and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.